Hi, uh, my name is Francisco and I'm gonna be showing uh, one of the features that we have, uh, the PXF, uh, to read uh, data from any external JDBC source. Um, so today I'm gonna be talking about partitioning. So this is a complex topic, but it's really a really, really cool feature that we have. Um, basically, if you want to fetch your data in parallel, uh, we can create a table, um, partition table um, that accesses the external data in parallel. So I have two clusters, um, two Greenfield, Greenfield clusters, and I'm going to connect the two clusters. Um, so let me show you what I have. I have a database called TPCH, and in this database, I have a line item table. Uh, it's roughly 50 gigs of data that I, that I have. Um, and let's do a count. I'm going to enable timing. Select count star from line item. And on the right, I have another database. Um, this one is empty. So select star from line item should be empty. Let's enable timing here as well. Uh, so the first thing that I need to do is configure my Grimplum cluster. And for that, PXF allows you to provide a server configuration. Let's go to the PXF conf directory. Uh, here we have a server directory. And let's create a Grimplum directory. Uh, I'm just following the these instructions are found on our documentation, but I'm just following what we suggest on the documentation. So let's copy it. We have a template file in pxf com slash templates slash jdbc site. So in our jdbc site, we ship with these defaults that we need to fill out. Uh, let's add the uh, JDBC driver is going to be org .postgresql driver JDBC URL. I have a little template here that I'm going to copy and paste. Um, the port is going to be five four three two host. Uh, let's, let's find the host from this machine. So host is going to be 10082 58. And my database is called TPCH. Um, let's create a user. So let's create a user on the on the other database. PCH. I'm gonna create a user. Let's call it uh, remote GP admin or remote. Yeah, let's call it remote GP admin with login encrypted password. Mm -hmm. Just gonna come up with something silly. Oh, we already have a screen user. Uh, second, we create login created password. And I'm gonna grab connect on database. TPC H to my 
second GTDB user, and I'm going to grant all privileges on table line item to my second GTDB user. There we go. So uh, let's fill it out here. So we want this to be second GPDB. And we want this password to be optimized that elephant. Um, let me check that this works. Um, okay, zero eighty-two. The eight user we said is second. Database is TPC agents prompt password. Yeah, so I'm connected. I have a connection. And now let's go back to my database. So I'm going to move data from the left cluster to the right cluster. Uh, these are different clusters. Um, let's look at the segment configuration. So I have eight, seven segments. Let's see. Let's factor this by where I'm going. I don't have primary. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I have second order by content. So I have 27 seconds, 28 se seconds. Um, okay. Um, so let's yeah, let's start by creating an external table. Create external table. I'm going to call this line item external. Schema is similar to my line item table. And let's specify the location. We are going to use the PXF protocol. The table name is line item. The file is going to be JDBC. Server that we are using, we just configured the Grimcon server. And we are not going to specify any partitions um, for now. Um, but we could. And then format, uh, format is custom. We use format, custom format and formatter. It's going to be PXF writable import. Okay, and now let's enable timing. Let's make sure we don't have any data in line item. And let's do a select insert into line item. So let's start from line item external. So this will run a single query. I think I have an error in my definition. Let's look at it. Um, JDC driver. Um, 
looks good. Need that whole check. Maybe I have a typo here. Okay. JDBC driver. Looks to be there. Hmm. Okay. Let me take a quick look at this error. The comp logs. Oh. Forgetting the most important part. PXF cluster cluster sync. So after I created the JDBC site and the server, I need to sync it in, in my cluster. So this is gonna copy the settings to all the segments of the segment hosts. So now that was successful. And now we can enable timing again. And we are gonna be inserting all the data into my uh, line item table. So this will take a while, um, but basically what I, what I wanna do is load the data without partitioning, and then I wanna show how much faster we can load data with uh, partitioning enabled. So this will take a while, we'll come back in a little bit. Finally, after one hour and almost uh, 15 minutes, um, we, get, we were able to insert the data into the line item table. So let's verify that. So it's pretty slow to do it with a single thread. So, uh, the idea is we can parallelize this by using partition. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit here because I know that uh, Greenplum has access to the second ID. So I wanna create one partition per, per segment. And the way I'm gonna do this, oh, let's ver verify. First, yeah, let's start by verifying that the count is the same. Select count star from night item. So both clusters should have the same amount of records. Um, and now I'm gonna truncate this table even though it took uh, a long time. I'm gonna truncate it. And I'm gonna create my second external table. So create external table, line item partition, line item partition, like line item, location, WPXF, the current table name is line item on the external system, profile equals JVC and server equals green form. So let's define the partition. Partition by, partition by, um, we're gonna partition by GP segment ID and range, I know we have 28 segments, so zero to 27. And Interval equals one. Format custom and format there equals BXF variable import. 
Okay, and let's rerun the query. Uh, and now this time, I'm gonna use the partition table, partitioned. And let's see how fast this will run. Oh, I made a little mistake, partition. And yeah, partition by needs column segment column the type. So I'm gonna drop the table, drop external table line item partition. I'm just gonna recreate it with int. So we use colon int. Let's try again. Okay, and we'll be back when this is done. Um, mo we have results um, much much faster import. Um, so from one hour and 20 minutes, close to one hour and 20 minutes, we only took um, 11 minutes. So much, much faster. So um, let's make sure that we have all the data here. And I run the a query for PG star activity. I want to see what this looks like, but yeah, so I have the same amount of records, and this shows that partitioning is a really powerful um, feature that PXF is going to help speed up the process of retrieving data from GDC. Uh, connections. Thank you.